Crunching the Language, the story of Deep Fried. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're going to dive into a delicious part of the English language that's sure to make your mouth water and your vocabulary sizzle. We're peeling back the layers on the phrase, deep fried. Whether you're a food enthusiast or just hungry to learn, by the end of this video, you'll not only know what this phrase means, but also how to use it in conversation. When we talk about something being deep fried, we're describing a cooking method. It involves submerging food into hot oil or fat at a high temperature. This isn't just a light saute or a gentle simmer. Deep frying means the food is completely covered by the oil. The result? A crispy, golden exterior that often hides a tender and juicy interior. From chicken to french fries, deep frying is a popular technique around the globe. Deep frying is not just a cooking method, it's a culinary experience. When you see deep fried on a menu or in a recipe, you can expect a dish that has a crunchy texture and is often quite rich in flavor. The phrase can also give you a clue about the dish's calorie content. Deep fried foods are usually high in calories and are considered indulgent treats in many cultures. Interestingly, deep fried has seeped into the English language in ways beyond the kitchen. Sometimes, people use it metaphorically. For instance, saying you're deep fried after a long day at work implies you're exhausted and spent, much like a piece of food cooked thoroughly in hot oil. It's important to catch the tone and context when this phrase is used outside of cooking. Across different cultures, deep fried foods can carry significance. For example, in the southern United States, deep frying is an essential part of the cuisine, symbolizing hospitality and home cooking. Meanwhile, in places like Japan, deep frying is an art, with dishes like tempura being carefully prepared to achieve the perfect balance of lightness and crispness. Understanding these nuances can enrich your cultural knowledge and your vocabulary. And there you have it. The phrase, deep fried, is a small but mighty part of the English language, packed with flavor and meaning. We hope you've enjoyed this crispy linguistic journey and that you'll find ways to sprinkle these new expressions into your conversations. Happy learning! And here's to hoping your language skills are as well crafted as the perfect deep fried dish.